Hey, good morning everybody. I hope the start of your day has been really great. What do you say we make this an awesome day? With a heavy heart, I have to say that I'm leaving this wonderful state of California. But there was no doubt that Noah and myself had an amazing journey and I hope that you guys really liked coming along for it. Today will be a long travel day. We have to pack up here at the hotel and then we have to get to the airport and have that long flight across country. You guys know that I'm not a big fan of flying as much as I do, but hey, we're gonna make the best of it. And I only have a couple days home before I travel to Florida where there's going to be some more amazing adventure. We're off to Playlist Live, the huge YouTube convention, so we're going to be meeting up with a lot of really cool people and having a lot of fun. The thing I like the best about it is that I will be spending that entire time with my family because I think I have eight days until I leave for Indonesia and I'll be away from my family for 10 or 11 days, so I'm going to just soak up every minute I can being with Noah and Lori. But as for now, I just have to get things packed up and I got to hit the airport, so you know, probably not a lot of crazy animal stuff but I'm gonna try to get to the building later on in the day when I get home. I hope I get home early enough, depends on how this flight goes. So what do you say we get this day started? And remember, let's make this an awesome one. It seems like the hardest part of every trip is when we have to pack our suitcase back up because wherever we go, we always are either buying or getting stuff from people. And uh, certainly Noah came with extra shoes home and <laughs> we have a bunch of shirts and hats and all kinds of stuff. So I have no idea how we're gonna fit this all in the suitcase, but uh, wish us luck. We've got all those shoes to still go into the suitcase that is completely full already. And we have uh, a bunch of pair of shoes. So we're gonna do our best. On the shuttle to the airport and we got you know we always want to get to the airport about two hours early especially LAX because it's a really busy airport so we left plenty early and uh, we literally have been stuck in traffic for like the last half hour trying to make our way so uh, it went from being two hours early to now being like an hour and a half till our flight leave so uh, getting a little tight let's hope that security isn't too bad and we don't miss our flight. All right we finally at the airport we now we have just over an hour to get to our flight so <sighs> it's gonna be tight. We ended up getting so lucky. Literally, there was this. Uh, we were, there was a secret. <laughs> there was a secret line. I mean, we were standing in line that was going to take at least 40 minutes, I bet. And we only have like an hour to board our flight. And uh, and that's not even security. That's just baggage checking. And there was this like secret line over here that had one person in it. And uh, so Noah went over, checked it out, and they're like, "Yeah, you can check in here." So we zipped over. <laughs> Literally saved us like 45 minutes and probably was the difference of getting on this flight or not But we still have to get through security which I have a feeling is gonna be a nightmare So uh, we're not out of the woods, but I think we're gonna be all right. Well, hopefully anyways LAX is an absolute maze. I mean just trying to find the flight has been so hard. Oh my god <sighs> Starting to get a little panicky. But I think we're gonna be okay. I really do I hope we're gonna be okay All right, so we finally found security and it looks like it's actually really light so I think we are in good shape I went from panicking to uh, feeling like I'm in pretty good shape. Might even get a chance to get Noah something to eat before we get on the plane. <laughs> we always say that I've been so fortunate to travel really all over the world. And, and I always tell people that when you travel somewhere, you take a little piece of that adventure. The people you met, the experience you had, and you live your whole life with it. So I'm always encouraging you guys to try to step out. I realize that not everyone is as blessed as I am and able to travel all over the place. But even if you go on short trips, a little day trip where you travel an hour away in your car and just experience some things and push your boundaries, it really rounds you as a person. There's no doubt that 
this trip was one of the most insane trips I've had. We've reached so many people. We, we really changed a lot of minds here, not only with Reptile, but hopefully we were able to encourage people to do amazing things just like we have. You got to remember, I'm just a normal guy that just believed in something amazing, and now I've been able to travel all over and, and kind of spread the love. So it's, uh, it's something that I certainly hope you guys can take and just, you know, always trying to create that curiosity, that sense of adventure. So, listen, this has been awesome, but it's time to go home. about an hour and a half left on the flight. I've been editing the whole time to be honest with you, so the flights went by really quick. Thankfully, it's been a pretty smooth flight. The flight out here was pretty bumpy, so I'm pretty excited that this one's been smooth. But I've been so preoccupied, I don't really know. Every now and then, it's nice to just take a break. Bathroom's the only private place on a plane, I suppose, but regardless, uh, just need a breather, stand up, and uh, about an hour and a half we'll be on the ground. I cannot wait to see Lori and just get off this plane and have a couple days, but hey, two days from now, I'm back on a plane down to Orlando. Thanks. How's it going? Have a good night. All right, back home in Detroit. I am so excited to be back home. It's so nice. The only problem is, is it's about 25 degrees colder here. It's like in the 50s. We were like in the 70s and 80s in LA, but uh, regardless, so good to be back. I can't wait to see Lori and all the animals. I'm gonna definitely go by there tonight and just check on things, just to see how everything is. Oh, it is. Trailer. You miss me? Oh, good. Are you lying? No, I miss you. It was the perfect amount of time. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Lori always knows. <laughs> Lift that luggage up. Come on. <laughs> hey, be careful with that luggage. What are you doing? You're. What's I'm not it? giving you any tip. <laughs> it's always nice to see Lori. Oh. Lori will always keep you grounded. Just when you say, "Oh my God, I can't wait to see Lori," she's like, "Yeah, I missed you a little bit, but you could have been gone a day or two longer." That's not what I said. I said it was the perfect amount of time because I woke up this morning and I missed you. But you didn't wake up yesterday and miss me? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> okay, great to be home. <laughs> All right, guys, I had to come by the shop and at least check on my animals tonight. It's actually pretty late. I think it's uh, it's about 9.30 at night now. We've been traveling all day, so I'm just gonna make a really quick run around. Just make sure my animals are okay. Karma, you're looking beautiful today. Oh, you're so beautiful. I miss my animals so much, so I gotta come and say hi to them. Look at Bella. Hey, Bella, what's going on, sweetheart? What are you doing? Oh, she's sleeping, but I'm gonna pet her anyways. Hi, girl. Oh, look at her. As soon as I pet her, she's like, perks up like, oh, pet me some more. Bella, I missed you so much. I can't wait till tomorrow when I can take her out and play with her a little bit. Again, it's nighttime, so the lights are all out here. Uh, I just turned stuff on, so I don't want to mess with stuff too much. But again, I just have to pop in, see my animals, make sure everything's okay. You know, everyone's been killing it here, doing a really good job with uh, me being gone. But that doesn't mean that I don't miss myself and I gotta at least jump in and say, hey, what's up? Thank you. 
So Colubrids in full bore breeding now. You know, since I've been gone, Lori has basically put on. You can see that I've got just the auxiliary lights on, so the timer lights are off. But uh, but everything is breeding now, uh, Lori. You can see all the male tags, and the males are in with females. I would take a look at these guys right here. There's a hypo pyro against a normal pyro Arizona Mountain King. So uh, everything is breeding now. Males are in with females, uh, feeding like crazy. So uh, tis the season. Same thing with the leopard geckos. They're all going now. So, oh gosh, it's so good to be back. As much as I love traveling, I love the adventure, being back here is what I love. And it just stinks that I'm only gonna be here for two days and then I'm leaving and then I'm gone for four days and then I'm only back for one day and then I'm gone for 11 more days. So. Uh, uh, I'm looking around as, as happy as I am to be back. I'm almost a little sad, like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to see this place much over the next few weeks. But uh, anyways, got to make the best of it. Live in the moment, right? I always talk about living in the moment. For the moment, I'm happy to be home. Okay, downstairs, guys, just looking at everything. Of course, you know I'm going to look for Sunrise. And here she is, my girl Sunrise. Oh my gosh, she looks bigger since I left her last time. Oh my gosh, she looks so amazing. <laughs> Again, you know, it's one of those things where when I'm gone, I really think about my animals a lot. And it's really cool to be around other people's animals and see their stuff, but, but sometimes it even makes you a little more homesick. Like, oh, I wanna see my stuff. And certainly Sunrise was one I had to come and say hello to. Hello, girl, I missed you so much. <laughs> and again, it's like I said, it seems like she grew about six inches since I've been gone. I've only gone a week, but it's crazy. So uh, she's looking great. Hey, RJ. Oh, as soon as I came in, again, the lights are out down here. So RJ, as soon as you know, I clicked on the lights, he just went and sunk down. He's sleeping, so he's like, leave me alone. And he knows usually, you know, that's the thing about crocodilians, you know, alligators and all of them. They're so smart. So when he hears me walking up and sees me, the first thing he thinks in his head is, Brian's gonna take me out. And so he's saying, don't take me out. I'm sinking down. I'm pretending like I'm hiding underneath the water. So I will leave RJ alone. But again, he's just kind of programmed like that. He knows when I walk up to him, I'm probably pulling him out. I'm probably playing with him. Right now he's saying, I'm not ready for that. Just leave me alone. So I'm gonna listen to him and let him have the night off. So awesome to be back and just see the animals. Everything looks good. It's just so, it looks so clean. They've been doing a great job. Uh, you know, I always know they're gonna do a good job, but it's nice just to come back and see it myself. So I'm like, okay, there's no disasters. Everything looks like things have been going along smooth. So uh, these guys, I give my crew a big kudos and thumbs up. And of course, Lori, you know, she really took up a lot of the slack when I was gone. Uh, it's awesome to have someone that's so supportive like her. I just spent the last 35, 45 minutes just kind of walking around, checking on things, making sure everything looks good. Again, they tell me if something is going on that I need to know and I haven't heard anything negative. So <laughs> they were on top of the game and, and sure enough, everything looks really good. I can't wait to jump back into the collection tomorrow, even if it is only for a couple days. That'll kind of rejuvenate myself and make me feel great about the animals. And then I'm gonna miss them a lot on these next couple trips. But when I'm back, I'm gonna to try to stick around a little bit this summer and really work the animals hard. But we'll see what happens. Life is always crazy. Regardless, it's just great to be home. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in today. I know today was a little bit of a weird vlog because it was mainly just travel stuff. And I gotta try to get a little creative with my shots. Let me know down in the comments if you like that type of stuff. I really love production, so I love kind of getting unusual shots and piecing them together. But I want to know from you guys, do you like that? Do you want me to add more of that kind of theatrical stuff to it? Or you just want me to talk to the camera? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to just try to do the best I can for you guys. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you again for tuning in. And do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell. Be kind to somebody. I promise. I'm going to see you tomorrow. You know, I, 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 I,